Hello guys, Ivan here and welcome to a new video. So today we are at AMG Performance Center, Bratislava Lamač, Motor Car Group. Thanks for having us here today. And here we will go and take a look at the interior and also at the infotainment system of the all new 2023 Mercedes C43 AMG sedan. And if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like and also turn on notification bell and turn on all notifications so you are notified for all upcoming videos. And let me know in the comment section down below what you think about the new C-Class and especially this AMG model C43. And here we can see the spec sheet and price for this particular vehicle. So now let's take a look at the interior which has some enhancements and basically looks completely different than what we see in the previous generation of the C-Class. Also the sport seats here in two-tone and the gorgeous animation. And this is how the front looks from the back. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. All right guys, so welcome to the interior of the new C43 AMG. So here, as you can see in the new generation of the C-Class, we have this new layout for the screens. So you have main driver screen and also central screen for the C43 AMG and C63 AMG, you have the AMG Performance steering wheel. This can also be partially in the Alcantara microfiber-like material. Here we have the full Nappa, and on the top you have uh, Nappa leather, and also on the sides, but with these like uh, small indentations, more like a, not holes, but it's not uh, smooth basically. Uh, on the sides you can get the microfiber if you wish to do so. And here you can see this panel uh, from the S-Class. For the doors you can close the car, uh, and lock it, unlock it. And here we have the controls for the seats. They are fully electric and three memory seat controls. Also, the seats are fully heated and also fully ventilated for three levels. Uh, Burmester surround sound system, controls for the lights, and how cool this car looks. It uh, really punches above its weight, um, as we can say. And this car looks really uh, very premium, I have to say. Also, very nice clicky sound for these air vents, uh, inspired by the aviation. And the carbon fiber decor, uh, this trim is only possible to have for the AMG C-Class model, so for the C43, uh, C63S. So, this one is uh, really nice. This carbon fiber, I have to say, more sporty. You can also get more like a, a more standard uh, of a trim. So let me know which one is your favorite. And here we have the MG Performance steering wheel. So this is the largest Mercedes Star ever put it on a steering wheel, which is like a half cup uh, airbag and also the horn and these capacitive buttons here. You have two sections on each side. And these are gorgeous AMG buttons where you change the driving mode with these. So you can see it also here on the screen. And also here you have a buttons where you can change, for example, the dampers, the exhaust, for example. So you can have a, we can do it here. So for example, you can have the Sport Plus and you can have a dampers in their most comfy setting, so in the comfort. And the way you, if you drive on the bad roads, uh, it will not be as harsh. Also, you can see the AMG logo here, and the steering wheel is flat on the bottom. Not as flat on the sides uh, as the previous steering wheel. And the whole dash is actually turned six degrees towards the driver. So it is, uh, you can see it's uh, closer to that panel uh, than here. So we have uh, more space. Uh, on this side, so it's uh, more turn it towards the driver, more driver focused. And also the central screen which goes like up from the central panel. And I think this is done very nicely here in the C-Class AMG. And here we have the sport seats. These are standard seats for the C43. You can also get the AMG performance seats. But uh, I don't think I have seen yet the Libert car with these seats because um, 
I think there is a shortage uh, of these seats. So I think there is a shortage uh, of uh, performances. That's why we have not seen yet uh, those. But um, yeah, I think these are very cool for daily driving. I'm, I don't know how firm are the performance seats because I have not seen them. So uh, I cannot tell you. But these are very nice. And uh, I could actually prefer this uh, if the performance seats are too firm. So here in this case uh, we have the very nice two-tone combination. So this is the grey and black, uh, grey pearl, and this is Napa leather manufacture. And uh, really, really nice uh, color, I have to say, this combination of a grey and black. If you don't really want like a red or uh, this kind of uh, brown, you can go for this kind of uh, more subtle, but you can see the difference of a grey and black. Or you can go for a full black. So when I filmed the white car, a white C43, I filmed the black Napa interior there. And here we have this uh, two-tone black and grey interior. Also, we have here on the headrest a Falterbach crest. So uh, that's a very nice touch uh, as well. Uh, other than that, we have the red uh, top stitching here. And here on these stripes you can see the microfiber material also there on the side. And also there on the seat. So the seats are really nicely like um, designed. I have to say that uh, they look really sporty and luxurious at the same time and uh, brand new. Also you can position the headrest forward if you want. So you can move it uh, a little bit closer to you. And the seat belts we have here in a red color. So it looks like this uh, when you are driving. If you don't really want to stand out, you can get these in black as well. But uh, I think it's uh, quite fitting to have these uh, here. Also, here is a glove compartment. It's a nice size and also illuminated. You have like a two section, upper and lower. And you can close it with the blade from the key fob. So talking about the key fob, here is actually the key fob to this car. So you can see the new style AMG key fob with the AMG logo. And on the back side we have also AMG logo hidden with the sticker here, but you can see that there is AMG logo. I think this key fob is uh, yeah, really nice one. And uh, I really like the new design. So if you slide this forward, then we have here two cup holders. They are also uh, adjustable. So you can adjust these depending how large is your uh, cup for your drink. And you have some storage space, you can place your key fob here if the battery in the key fob dies. Also we have here the USB-C port which is illuminated. And we have wireless charging pad uh, for your phone as well. On the top we have this panel which is illuminated, same as in the S-Class. And also the panoramic sunroof. So this one is uh, full size, really large one. So let me know what you think about uh, this one. You can also close here the sunshade, the roller sun blind. If it's like um, too much, you can close this. And you can open it here if you swipe as well. And as you can see, we have a tinted window here as well. You can open this for the ventilation for a small gap such as this one. You can also open it fully. Then we have uh, much more space here for the fresh air coming to the car and also makes the interior brighter as well. So sunroof is a really stylish option which uh, many people actually choose. Also here we have a door packet with some place for a water bottle. You can also open the boot here with this button in the doors. Alright, so for the latest MBUX system, the NTG7, we have here these new graphics. As you can see here you can change this display if you press here the home button. Can change this into the track pace, super sport, sport, classic, understated, navigation, assistance, and also the service. So, for example, the track pace, you can see the G force here, also the speed and accelerator pedal, brake pedal as well, and RPMs in the middle. We just need to turn on the ignition as well. So here is uh, the next one, Super Sport. Here you can see the RPMs. And if you slide here, then you can change what you can see in the middle. So you can have a navigation, radio, 
and consumption from the start and also the g-force and on the sides you can see the newton meters and kilowatts and also the settings so if I change from comfort to the sport plus you can see now the changes so that's uh, also very cool then you can have the sport which is this uh, also which we know from the mercedes-benz but we have also temperatures here of the engine coolant and also the transmission then we have the classic one where you can change also what is shown in the middle consumption and all these stuff so you can see the consumption from reset eco display attention assist and also we have here the map in the middle then we have the understated uh, this one is really basic but uh, you can actually change the color of it and it also changes together with the middle screen so there's also pretty cool navigation you can have it on the full screen and assistance here you can change this uh, as well and service you have warning messages uh, when is next service and tire pressure and tire temperature uh, for each tire individually so here you can see the central screen where you have media navigation phone radio apps comfort performance track pace and settings so here we have a uh, steering rear steering and front steering also the g-force accelerator pedal and brake pedal and also the engine you can see the car turbo pressure and the kilowatts newton meters and temperature of the transmission and oil as well and then we have track pace where you can see the telemetry uh, for the car you can see the tracks here so AMG Speedway, Algarve, Hockenheim, now they are downloading. You can see many of them. Also you can have a, your own tracks. And also drag race. So you can record that as well. And also telemetry. You can see the different parameters like brake pedal, accelerator pedal. You can also add uh, these as well. So it's also very cool. And you have Apple CarPlay Android Auto for the integration of the smartphone. Also here in the Comfort we have the seat and ambient lighting. So for the seat kinetics the seat will move a little bit forwards and backwards. You can set it up here in the settings as well. The backrest and seat surface and how long it should do. And ambient lighting we have the monochrome and multicolor. So monochrome is 64 single colors so you can see here so you can see we can change to orange and it looks like this uh, or to the yellow one or to the green and uh, the first one is the most visible this blue one and then for the multicolor we have the ocean blue which looks like this combination of this light blue and uh, blue color can see it here as well and then we have the Miami Rose which is this combination of these peach and uh, violet colors and then we have the Malibu Sunset which is this turquoise and pink and then we have the burning blue which is blue and this uh, orange and then we have the Venice pink, which is pink and uh, like a peach, and this like a violet pink. Uh, chrome shine is this light blue and uh, white, very like a subtle uh, color, color combination. Then we have the red moon, this one is like a watermelon and blue, but we have here uh, effects and uh, multicolor, so it changes the color. Uh, we need to turn this off so we can see it how it looks and then we have the jungle green which is combination of this green and turquoise and ultramarine which is uh, this sort of two colors uh, this uh, violet and purple as well then we have the fresh cyan which is this uh, turquoise and blue these like a petronas colors 
and here is a racing yellow which is this uh, like a yellow and orange colors and here is a racing orange this one is combination of the orange and almost uh, like a red color and then we have brightness so we can lower this if you want like a lighter color so that's also uh, pretty cool And the most visible during day is definitely monochrome, the first one. It shines uh, very brightly. And in effects we have warnings. We have uh, in the effects we have warning when exiting, climate, and multicolor animation, and also the track pace. So pretty, pretty cool. So here on the top we can find the sun visor with the mirror and also light. And you can see also door door handle here. Alright guys, and now we can take a look at the rear seats. Alright guys, so now in the back seat of the C43 Burmester. Really nice place to be, the rear. So here you can see how much legroom do I have. I would say about 6 cm, 5-6, and that's about 2.5 inches I would say. So pretty nice. Also you can tuck your feet under the seat, even though seat is in its lowest position and if you are relaxed sitting then very good uh, as well you can see here the gray and black interior this is mainly a two seat uh, rear section the middle seat you can see is like a emergency sort of so you can see here that uh, it's uh, designed like a two seater but obviously you can uh, three people can sit here it's a uh, yes, decent size also for the three people, but for two it's the maximum comfort. Also, you can extend here the armrest. And you can see here, it's good for two arms. And if you press here, you will see we have the place for your phone or tablet. If you press one more time, then you can see hidden cup holders pop out. So that's uh, also adjustable. So these are uh, very good as well. A whole uh, rear is uh, really gorgeous. Also, you have red seat belts here. Of course, you have here points uh, to fix the child seat. And here you can see close up of the seat. And uh, this very nice gray. I think this is a very nice combination uh, for the interior for sure. This uh, gray and black. So, yeah, let me know what you think about the new C43 uh, AMG. Alright, so in terms of the headroom, I would say we have about 3 centimeters, like more than 1 inch. And I think this is good because of the sunroof, uh, which actually takes up a space uh, from the headroom. So I think this is uh, quite good. I am 186 centimeters or 6 feet and uh, 2 inches. And overall I am comfortable here and it's a very nice place to be this new C-Class, uh, that's for sure. So now we can open the boot. The boot has a capacity of 455 liters, that's 16 cubic feet. And you can fold the rear seats with a split of a 40, 20, 40. Also under the boot floor, you can find some accessories, first aid kit, the AMG crate, the box, and also the emergency vest. So if you need more luggage space, then it's also C43 Estate, depending on the market. So here on the right side you can see where you can fold the rear seats with the button and also hook. So you can hang a bag or something like that. Also you can see the net where you can store something and the connections for the net where you can attach uh, which will secure your luggage. And you can close the boot with the push of a button. Alright guys, so that's it for this video. Let me know how do you like the new C43 AMG in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you soon in the next video. Have a wonderful day.